Hello everybody, my name is James, hope you're all doing well, and welcome back to another video. So Mercedes had a strong Spanish Grand Prix, and team boss Toyota Wolf has made a new revelation about the team's upgrade, and also made a new statement about Red Bull. Make sure to like the video, and subscribe for more Formula 1 content, but let's jump straight into the news. So on the whole, the Spanish Grand Prix weekend was good for Mercedes, like it didn't start off great, with the team just nowhere during Friday practice, both in race trim, and won that pace. And I was surprised at the time, I mean the car looked a handful, and it looked like the team had gone backwards from Monaco. But they did find speed on the Saturday, especially in Lewis Hamilton's hands. While George Russell struggled and ended up in 12th place in qualifying due to tyre issues, Hamilton ended up in 5th. And at one point, it even looked like he'd be on the front row. And then in the race, Mercedes were easily the second fastest team, with Hamilton comfortably finishing in 2nd, while Russell put in a great drive to go from 12th to 3rd. So as I say, overall a good weekend. But the team were well behind Red Bull, with Max Verstappen making it look so easy out in front, while Russell nearly lost his podium to Sergio Perez at the end of the race, who was closing lap by lap. And when asked about how far a drift of Red Bull Mercedes was, team boss Toto Wolf told Motorsport.com, not to give you an answer, but I simply don't know. I think Verstappen is just on a different level. It annoys me to say that, but that's the reality. They have just done the best job, and the driver is driving excellent. They are just far away, and that is something which we only have in our hands to get under control. But while Red Bull are too strong at the moment, it's clear the new upgrades are working for Mercedes. I mean, at tracks like Baku and Miami, the team just didn't have any speed, with it looking like the car just wasn't working the way the drivers wanted it to. But since the major updates were put on the car in Monaco, the W14 looks a lot nicer to drive. After the Spanish Grand Prix, for example, Red Bull team boss Christian Horner said Mercedes made a big step and thought they'd be putting Red Bull under pressure in the second half of the season. And Mercedes believed that with the new downwash solution of side pods and revised front suspension, it finally has answers about just where the car is lacking compared to Red Bull. Wolf added, I think it's a new baseline. It is from where we can continue to work with a certain stability and without needing to question certain parts of the car. Whether it's the bodywork, the floor, or the front suspension, it's now been established, and this is what we're taking forward now. It is now from here we can seek performance, downforce, and all that. Now it's clear Wolf believes the development direction is right, and he also felt that the team had a development time advantage, with them getting more wind tunnel time than Red Bull and Ferrari after finishing third in the constructor standings in 2022. So it feels like Mercedes are now in a position where Aston Martin were at the start of the season, basically coming out strong with a new concept, and there's so much more for Mercedes to unlock given it's so new. So while the team are still far away from Red Bull, they could currently now be at the beginning of their journey to be able to close the gap. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below. But that's going to be the video from me today, thank you ever so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos, and until the next one, take care.